Scientific Sessions 2022 going strong in Chicago with AHA leadership taking the stage and recognizing distinguished leaders who have been instrumental in cardiovascular medicine and science. More main event sessions and health tech innovations, day two coverage, and the conclusion of the health tech competition. That's straight ahead on AHA TV. We're back for another exciting day of networking and learning at Scientific Sessions. I'm Trey Johnson. Joining us again is our own Yasmin Hassan to tell us more about the hot topics at this year's event in Chicago. Trey, this is the place to be for the very latest in cardiovascular health, science, medicine, right here at McCormick Place in Chicago. This year we are back in person and as you can see from the crowds behind me, that's proof. Professionals are coming together to celebrate accomplishments, learn about the latest discoveries and evidence-based study results in the field of cardiovascular science and medicine. One of the first sessions of the morning was the Ansel Keys Memorial Lecture, where several speakers eloquently spoke on the impact of diet and fitness on cardiovascular risks. It's not a new concept, but the concept of marrying the high-risk approach and public health approaches to primary prevention is a new one. I'm trying to reshape that paradigm. So really important that people around the country can hear that. This featured science session provides an in-depth look at five heart failure trials. Those include the use of acetazolamide and HF reduced injection fraction, new insights into the SGLT2 inhibitors, and the impact of revascularization on arrhythmias. This is uh, the lowest my blood pressure has been this whole session. It's been great. We learned all about chlorthalidone versus HTTZ. We learned about torsamide versus Lasix, but the puppies. It's all about the puppies. <laughs> that was the best session so far. Next time we should add kittens too. <laughs> Elsewhere in the Science and Technology Hall, the Health Tech competition rolls on. The judges took one more look through the finalists, and congratulations to this year's winner, Avo MD. Whether it's in person, in the Heart Hub, or virtually, Brain Dates allow attendees to have detailed one on one or group conversations to discuss different topics or work to solve problems in the industry. I'm from Brazil actually, so it's completely different there. I was talking with a guy from India and it's also different there. So it's, we have a lot of common topics, but at the same time, a bundle of content is completely different just because of the social economic aspect. Attendees headed into the main event room in anticipation of the presidential address and to celebrate the recipients of the Science Awards and Chairman's Award. I am extremely fortunate and blessed. I am humbled beyond words for this recognition that others have seen fit to bestow. AHA President Michelle Albert took to the stage to discuss adversity and how those in the cardiovascular field can combat it throughout their careers. If you're a researcher, you can make a difference by incorporating into your work economic and other social measures. Better still, do this while partnering with community organizations. All of this is especially true for those in translational, clinical, and implementation domains. Solving big problems is what we do at the American Heart Association. It has been that way for nearly 100 years since that summer day in 1924 when six cardiologists formed our organization at the Drake Hotel just a few miles from here. AHA and the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute are teaming up to host an exhibition featuring six NHLBI companies. Attendees learned about the latest in cardiovascular technologies from these companies and met with representatives to discuss what their technologies can do for their groups. In the learning studio, the National Hispanic Latino Cardiovascular Collaborative took to the stage to promote its vision as a volunteer group 
to promote the treatment and prevention of cardiovascular disease and stroke by reducing and eliminating health disparities. NHLCC leadership met with attendees to discuss those disparities and what NHLCC is doing with AHA to build a pipeline of future healthcare providers and public health practitioners. Fellowship in the American Heart Association being a FAHA it's not about passing a board exam or having paid membership dues for so-and-so number of years, but so much more than that. First, it's about accomplishment in your field, whether you're a clinical practitioner or a scientist, whether you're in academia or in the community, whether you're a basic population, clinical, or translational researcher. Second, and in my mind even more important, it's about service. It's about contributing to that shared mission of the American Heart Association of building a world of longer, happier lives. Being elected as a FAHA means that you've hit a very high bar for both excellence and volunteerism. And you're joining a community of like-minded individuals in the cardiovascular community who are truly dedicated to the mission, who are all here. I really wanted to be a part of it because I've been a part of AHA for about 10 years. I actually realized this is the 10 year anniversary of attending scientific sessions. So I've known about um, being a fellow in the American Heart Association for a long time. Um, so I've always looked up to people who are considered fellows in the American Heart Association and so I knew that was one of the goals that I wanted to strive for. It's career changing, it's amazing, it'll open up your networks, you'll meet and be introduced to amazing people that will become lifelong friends and you'll be able to have an impact on a much larger patient population by being involved with the AHA. There's still so much more to learn and to see here at Scientific Sessions 2022 in Chicago. Also be sure and stay tuned to AHA TV, we will have highlights for you all week long. But for now I'm going to send it back to the studio, to you Trey. Yasmin, thank you so much for the update. We will be sure to check in with you again tomorrow. Now don't forget to follow us on social media throughout this year's event so you don't miss a thing. More highlights from this year's event in Chicago are still to come, so stay tuned on AHA TV. I'm Trey Johnson.